the late Eliphas Palace at the Namgudo in Oshkoto region, has been a hive of activity with structures being set up to accommodate about 15,000 mourners expected to attend both the memorial and funeral services. The chairperson of the regional preparatory committee, Heno Kankoshi, says all outstanding work will be finalized on Wednesday prior to the first memorial service to be held on Thursday. The first memorial service, which will take place at the late Onkwanilo's palace, is mostly meant for the community, while the memorial service for the state is slated for Friday to be followed by the funeral on Saturday. The memorial service program is expected to start at 10 in the morning and the community is expected to arrive at 7 in the morning. We have already set up committees, various committees. We've got the committee on, we've got the main committee, the regional preparatory committee. We have got subcommittees, the committee on finance, protocol, safety and security, logistic, transport and accommodation, catering. So those are the, the committee at the, at, at, the sub, at, the, at, the, at the regional level. Because we have got also committees at national level. Apart from that, we have got also home-based committees, which are, be, which are busy with the preparations during these days. The public is cautioned against carrying any type of weapons. We are mourning a respected Onkwaniro, who is not only respected in Ondonga, but in the whole Namibia. And I'm just urging that uh, you don't need to come with weapons. Security is here. No need for us to come with a, a knife or whatever. We let's, let's mourn our king in a peaceful manner. The late Onkwanilwa will be buried at the old Olukonda Cemetery where most of the Ondonga kings are buried. Ndapandashuya, NBC News, Onamgudo.